on the shore of Lake Erie. We bring you our game from Cleveland Ohio. Well the season has almost reached its conclusion and many of the teams are playing for just pride alone while others are looking forward to the playoffs. Today's game features two teams that are each looking to make a statement as the Indianapolis Colts come into town to face the Cleveland Browns. I'm Al Michaels and my partner John Madden here to bring you today's game. Man, let me tell you, we might see these guys try to play ball control and keep time of possession in their favor. To do that, we should see this guy get the ball a lot. Because as the game goes on, that's when he's at his best. It won't be easy for that defense to stop him. The Browns' defensive line will have to be at its best today due to the great running attack they'll be facing. So it'll be up to them to tie up the linemen up front so that the linebackers will be free to make most of the stops. If they're not able to do that, their defense might be in trouble today. This is what you hate to see as a visitor coming in here. A team that's focused and really ready to play. And let's go to the field for the coin toss. We have called tails. Is that correct? The Colts call tails and have won the toss. They choose to receive. Dawson looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He gets the kick away. Rhodes will try to bring this one back. Loses the defender. The Colts will start the drive from 22 yard line. Melissa, is there an update? I had a chance to talk to the head coach during warm-ups. He said they've spent extra time in practice on fundamentals. Too many arm tackles on defense and easy drops on offense have killed them. We'll have to see if the practice pays off, Al. Thanks, Melissa. He's going to throw. Tosses it right. And he hits his target. And that was a gain of seven. They need about three. Manning gets set. Looking the throw. Gets rid of it. Nice connection. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 48-yard line. James looking for room. Holmes takes him down at the 49. That run won't move them far. The linemen just failed to open up any holes to run through or give them room to work with. Gives the ball off, breaks the tackle, and it looks like they'll mark it at the 46. Five yard game. A little over four to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. Using motion. Crosses it back. He's brought down at the 47. He tried to find something off the edge, John, but there wasn't anything there. Yeah, but there was no corner to turn. He's looking for the corner, and it just never got there. They need five. Ball on the 47-yard line. Smith is just about ready to pump this one away. Davis will be looking to give his team good field position here. And he waves for the fair catch. Davis saw them closing in fast, so he signaled for the fair catch. He did the right thing, concentrated and caught the ball. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 18. Green looking for room. Washington with the stop at the 22. Couldn't find much of a hole, and he's brought down after a gain of what looks like a couple. Yeah, you talk about push. This line got no push at all, and there was nowhere to go. Seven yards to go. Set. 
Peterson hauls him down behind the line. He was wrapped up before he could make anything happen on that play, John. Yeah, he really had nowhere to go with the ball. He got to just take whatever the defense gives without trying to break a big one. About eight yards. Ball on their own 20. Looking the throw. He's looking, stepping up, throws it. And it's complete. It's first and ten. Four man block this time. Takes this one outside. And he's brought down at the 44. So that's a gain of about five. Right. Second and four. Ball on the 44 yard line. Couch directing traffic. Number 80, the man in motion. Couch hands it off. And the defender brings him down at the 33. He was able to pick up good yardage on that play. When you have a back who can pick up big chunks of yardage on his carries, it forces the defense to bring another man up to the line of scrimmage to try and control him. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Four-man front this time. Johnson goes in motion. He surveys the field, throws it out over to the left, and it's caught. He threw a great pass, and they get into the end zone. The quarterback knew that he had to make that pass perfect, and he got the job done on that one. up the point after he's good and so a big drive for this offense as they put together a nice string of plays that takes them down the better part of the field for the touchdown can't argue with result and the touchdown was the result that they were looking for this offense can put it together he kicks it off The defense did a very good job against them the last time they had possession, forcing a punt. First and ten. Ball on their own 19. With the toss. James takes it to the outside. Gain of three. Gain of three on the It's second down and seven to go. Dropping back. Throws it over the middle. And it's caught. Pickup of about seven. The team's as much size, and we'll start the second quarter. First and ten. Ball on their own 30. Drops back. Steps up into the pocket. Broken up. And a good defensive play. The receiver just didn't have good position on it. Second and ten. Ball on their own 30. Looking to pass. Manning 
throws it over to his right. Nice reception. He made a quick read and got rid of it in a hurry. He was either going to catch it or he was going to get knocked out by it. First and ten. Ball on their own 41. Looking to pass. Passing to his right. Harrison couldn't make the catch. He's lucky that one wasn't picked off. Yeah, that guy trusts his arm. He thought he could rifle it in there. Second and ten. The Colts using motion. Looking to pass. Looking for a receiver. Rolls right. Goes to the middle. Wayne, the intended receiver. The defender was able to get in there to disrupt the pass. Getting pressure on the quarterback is the easiest way to disrupt a pass play. The defensive line should take full credit for that play. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 41. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Looking to pass. Gets the pass off. Harrison couldn't make the catch. He tried to fire that one in there. He never looked comfortable in the pocket on that pass. Fourth and ten coming up. Davis sets up. Waiting for the puck. Davis will bring this one upfield. They'll head back onto the field looking to duplicate their last drive when they were able to get the ball into the end zone, basically through their passing game. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 31. He sees something in the defense. Couch sets up. Man in motion. Searching for a scene. He's to the point. He'll test the left side. Spectre running there, and they pick up the first down. A few more runs like that, and this defense is going to get an earful from the goal. It's first and ten. The Browns line up with two tight ends. Steps up with the pass. Nice completion. And he ducks out of bounds at the 30. <laughs> so they have first and 10 here. Ball on the 30 yard line. Four linemen and the three linebackers lined up defensively. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 32-yard line. He went nowhere, John. Went nowhere fast. Inside enemy territory. The backs are lined up in an eye. He's looking to pass. Steps up into the pocket. He surveys the field. He tried to find a hole and just got what he could. Yeah, he tried to stretch it outside. But the defense was quick to react to the play. And even quicker to move off their blocks and get in a position to cover the hole. It's third down and they have a long way to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Looking downfield. He surveys the field. Gets rid of it. Gets his hand on it. Washington knocked that one down. I'm not surprised. That was a tough pass. <laughs> Dawson comes into the game to try the field goal. The kick is up. The try is good. And so John Jack comes up a little shorter than they might have done, but they still managed to come away with a field goal. Yeah, I know they might have liked to have gotten in there for a touchdown. But three points is three points. And sometimes that's all you need. He sends it off. 
He'll be returning this one. He shakes his offender. They're just about ready to get this drive started after being forced to punt in their last possession. First and ten. The Colts using motion. Looking to pass. Throws over to his right. Great catch. He pulled the trigger quickly. So as hard as he throws it, he always seems to put the ball right on the receiver's number. It's second down and three to go. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Tosses it right. He finds his man. Eight-yard gain. And we've reached the two-minute mark. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 43. Take deep, take deep, take deep. Hey, 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 Number 85 hey, in motion. Somebody get over there. Get over there. James gets the toss. Moving left. The 50. Griffith records the stop at the 42. James covered some good ground there. And here's a guy with great speed who can pick up the first then keep the ball moving downfield. So they have first and 10 here. He's looking to pass. Throws over to his right. Nice reception. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 35. And so on second down, they'll try to move closer. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's looking to pass. Throws over to his right. Hits the target with the pass. He rifled it out there. That guy's always had a great arm. That's something you can't teach. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. He finds his man. And the defender brings him down at the 19-yard line. They're threatening inside the 20. A little over a minute left. Looking downfield, he surveys the field, and he drops the pass. The defense was coming after him on that play. And that's a right decision in that case. Get rid of the ball and take the incomplete. The quarterback will be better off taking a sack here than throwing it away, because he doesn't want the clock to stop if they don't get the first. So if no one's there, he should just tuck the ball and slide when he has to. Dropping back, Manning. Throwing it to the left. The quarterback was hit just as he was releasing the pass. He's lucky he got rid of the ball. I'll tell you, he was definitely going to take a sack. Vanderjack is looking to add to their total with this attempt. And it's on its way. It's good. The kick is good. He sends this one toward the end zone. He'll try to return this one. The Browns take over on offense at the 25 to try to move the ball downfield and increase their lead before halftime. Right. First and 10. Ball on their own 25. Nickelback in this time. Quick drop. Looking downfield. Throws over to his right. Eight yard gain. It's second down and three to go. Ball on their own 32. Dropping back. Looking for a receiver. Couch sends the pass away. Washington stopped him for his third tackle so far. Couch has now thrown for over 100 yards after completing that pass. Here's 
here's the spot we're trying to add to the lead before the half can backfire. All it takes is one mistake, and it could be the defense that's scoring. That's why the quarterback has to throw it hard to the sideline so that no one can jump the pass and pick it off. Looking downfield, passes it. He hits his receiver. They have a great opportunity with a first down here to try to add to their lead before halftime. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. He's going to throw. He surveys the field with the throw. Nice connection. And he's brought down. After three. He does a nice job bringing in the pass. This guy's just like a big player. He's never in a position where he thinks he'll throw is impossible. And so the kicker ready to come out onto the field and try to put one through the uprights before halftime. First down and goal to go. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Quick drop, looking for a receiver. Johnson was the intended target. So the pass ball is incomplete in the end zone. They'll try to add three with a field goal before halftime. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. He's looking to pass. Couch rolls right. Throw it. It's broken up. Number 27. Got his hand in there to knock it down. Yep, nothing fancy there. Don't even give the receiver a chance. Just knock it down. Third down now and four to go. Ball on the three-yard line. Looking downfield. Steps up. Goes to the middle. Green can't come up with it on that attempt. Dawson is heading onto the field for this field goal attempt. And it's up. Splits the uprights and good. The returner takes the ball and heads upfield. Slips the tackle. Can't bring him down. the second quarter with the score Cleveland 13 Indianapolis 3 so let's pick up the action as they line up to kick it off we'll take a look at each team's stats through two quarters Vanderjack is just about ready to kick this one away he kicks it off looking for a good return Cleveland is starting to pull away It's first and ten. Couch with a man in motion. With the carry. A little juke step. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. A consistent running game will make the play-action pass more effective. Second and six coming up here. He sees something in the defense. Four-man front this time. Campbell, the motion man. Ouch. Gives the ball off. With the carry. Bird makes the play. At the 48, Green kept his legs moving on that run. This guy stays so low to the ground that the defenders have nothing to tackle. They try to grab something as he runs by, but a lot of time all they end up with is air.
first and ten. Puts on the juke. Peterson brought him down for his third tackle. Green explodes for a big game. The offense won the battle at the line of scrimmage, and they blew the defenders off the line, opening holes for the runner to slide right through. Hey, it's first and ten. Set. And it looks like an offset off. Dropping back, gets rid of it, and he finds the open man. Washington stops him at the 20. Number 80 makes the catch. His first of the day. Inside the red zone. Green proceeds the handoff. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Offset eye formation. Couch with a man in motion. Looking downfield. Passes it. And the catch is made. Peterson wraps him up. Now has four tackles. See what they can do in the red zone. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Couch sends the pass away. He overthrew the target. There was no way he was going to get to that one. will try to come through with the field goal here. The kick is up. A nice kick, and it's good. Dawson looking to make a good kick here. He needs good distance on this one. The attempt is good. So the drive ends now with a touchdown. One with a field goal. And the coach is well known to have happy to the three. We'll have to take a look at it. Push it down the field all the way the next time for a touchdown. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. I'm sure they'll take the touchdown for their next one. He sends it off. Rhodes is looking for a nice return. Well, it appears he's injured and he's getting off his field okay, so we'll have to wait to find out what we can from Melissa in just a moment. First and ten. Ball on their own 21. Davenport in motion. He's going to throw. Passes it short. James was the intended target on that pass attempt. He might have released that one a little too late, resulting in an underthrow. Yeah, it's hard to catch a ball when it's behind you. <laughs> Melissa, anything new from the sideline? Good news, Al. The trainer said he did sustain an injury, but it doesn't appear to be anything serious. His return is probable. Melissa, thanks for the update. Sounds like he'll be back very soon. He's looking up here. Committing to the running game will add effectiveness to your passing attack. When the defense is looking past, you run. When the defense is looking to run, you go downfield. But we face with a long third down play here. Big chance on that pass. That guy has a great arm. Sometimes he takes some chances and he throws in the cover. Nine yards to go. Yeah. 
Smith is just about ready to pump this one away. Davis lines up deep for the punt return. Davis fields it cleanly. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. First and ten. Green, the deep man. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 36. So he's got the carry and makes his way toward the 100-yard mark on the ground. Second and four. Ball on the 36-yard line. Sets up. Campbell comes in motion. Green tucks it away. Nice move. He can't wrap him up. Peterson makes the tackle at the 30. Well, here's a look at his numbers after a nice run, and you can see he's been able to break some tackles. It's first and ten. the throw. He finds his man. Number 27. It's on the stat sheet by picking up his first tackle of the game. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Cleveland Browns ahead of the Indianapolis Colts. 16, three. And we'll start the fourth quarter. It's first and goal. The Browns are in the offset eye for me. Green can't come up with it on that attack. So a big hit in the quarterback forces the incompletion. He had no choice but to get rid of the ball. Second down, goal to go. Four yards to the end zone. Set. Davis comes in motion. Green gets the toss. He took the handoff and did the rest for the score. The offense has been knocking on the door, and now they just kicked it down. toward the end zone. Number 85 will bring this one upfield. The Colts take over on offense at the 19-yard line. So we have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 19. Only one man back. Dropping back. Manning passes it right. Griffiths makes a great play, breaking up that pass. An interception would have been nice, but a great play either way. So it's second and ten. Using motion.
first and ten. Ball on their own 29. Nickelback in this time. Looking downfield. It's pass off, and he's brought down at the 31. A display of good concentration by the receiver. If he can make catches like that regularly, he can expect to see more passes thrown in his direction. Second and nine coming up here. Dropping back. He's looking. Passing right. And he hits his target. Fuller makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. Manning just went over the 100-yard mark with that pass. First and ten. Quick drop. Looking downfield. Tosses it right. And he, oh, he had it and lost it. Incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Colts line up with two backs behind the quarter. Looking to pass. Tosses it right. Hits his man with the pass. He never hesitated on that pass. That was quite a throw. This guy's been blessed with a golden arm. Third and five. Coming up. Ball on the 37-yard line. Using motion. Drops back. He's looking. Throws over to his right. And he can't hang on. Caught it. Couldn't hang on. There's really no excuse for that. You just have to catch those balls. Five yards to go. The Colts line up with two tight ends. Look at the pass. With the pass. Nice reception. And he stopped at the 25. And so he was able to fire that one to his receiver, converting for a first down. Passes like that have been known to dislocate receiver's fingers. You might want to double check and make sure you can move them there. So we will have first and 10 here. Ball on the 25-yard line. back in this time. Looking for an option. Manning with the pass. He finds his man. He really gunned it in there for the score. Yep, that's the pass he had to catch. He's right there in the old bread basket. point after is good. So the offense puts together a tiny string of plays that ends with the ball in the end zone and a touchdown on the scoreboard. No matter what kind of field position you start with, as an offensive player, you got to be thinking touchdown. These guys kept their eye on the end zone, and that's exactly the kind of drive they were looking for. They're going to try to recover the onside kick. Let's see if they can have the same sort of success on this position that they had on their last, picking up a lot of yardage through the air on their way to a score. First and ten. Lining up with their big center shot. He's looking up to you. Peterson stopped him there, and according to our numbers, that's tackle number six for him. Run it up the gut and keep that clock moving. Two minutes to the final gun. Keep this to the inside. You just need to bring that clock down. So they're almost within their kicker's range. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Just won't go down. 
Morris records the stop at the 31. They've almost got this game won, but they still need to run it to make the defense use their timeouts. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Four-man front this time. Green to carry it. Still running. And the defender brings him down at the 24. When they sat down and discussed the running game this week, I'm sure they never thought it would go this way. Keep this to the inside. You just need to run that clock down. About four to go. Stopped him for his third tackle so far. He's had an excellent game so far. He now has over 100 yards on the ground. Get this one to your halfback and let him drive it in the middle. Melt this drive for all it's worth. It's first and ten. chances in this situation. Just take a knee and let the clock run out. Set, cut. Third and long. Ball on the 23-yard line. Set. Couch under center. We should see a field goal attempt on this fourth down as they'll try to put some more points on the board, adding to the lead. This game reaches its conclusion with the final score, Cleveland 23, Indianapolis 10. This concludes another EA Sports presentation. For John Madden and Melissa Stark, this is Al Michaels saying so long.